If you failed nursing school before, it is not hopeless, but I'm gonna tell you what you need to do to make sure that you don't repeat that experience. Before I tell you the two most important things that you really need to focus on if you're restarting nursing school after a failure, I'm gonna preface it by saying everybody's situation is a little bit different. I've been a nursing coach and a tutor for 15 years now, so I've pretty much seen it all. And I will tell you there are patterns to why this happens. And it's not because you're not capable. If you got into nursing school, you are capable of getting through nursing school. The problem in most cases is simply that you didn't have the right skills, and that's not your fault, by the way. It's usually the fault of the nursing programs who haven't taken the time to give you the skills you need. And I'm not talking about clinical hands-on skills here either, people. That's why the number one thing that you need to do to prepare is to learn a new study strategy. I know, I know, it's not a sexy solution, but it works. Here's the thing, you're in nursing school to learn how to think like a nurse. Yeah, you get hands-on skills, uh, you get some medical background and things like that, but the number one goal of nursing school is how to think like a nurse. That's what you're being tested on on NCLEX. And in order to learn how to think like a nurse, you have to be practicing how to think like a nurse during your studies. So basically you have to study like a nurse before you can think like a nurse. By the way, that's why I'm renaming my membership to the Study Like a Nurse training program, FYI. And we're gonna be upgrading all of my current tutoring members into the new Study Like a Nurse training program for the same price they're paying now. And we're gonna be raising the price to new members probably in February-ish. So if you wanna join, give it a try and lock in the current lower price. Because learning to study like a nurse is not just a simple thing. If it was, then everybody would just know how to do it naturally. And clearly you don't. It doesn't mean you're not smart. It doesn't mean you're not capable. Again, it's just a skill that you haven't learned yet. And unfortunately, your nursing school is probably not gonna teach it to you. So you have to find ways to learn that skill in your, by yourself, but you don't have to do it by yourself because I can help you. I've got a community of students that can help you too. So that's the first thing. Changing your study strategy is by far the number one thing to do to make sure you don't risk repeating a failure in nursing school. But the second thing is you need a strategy for dealing with test anxiety. Because if you failed, you've got test anxiety. It just kind of happens because you've had this traumatic experience and now that's kind of floating around in your head and you have to find ways to deal with it. Because not only does it interfere with your test scores so that your tests are not going to be an accurate reflection of what you actually know, but it's also going to interfere with your study time, with your life work balance and things like that. It's basically just like background noise that distracts you from doing the real work of learning how to study like a nurse so you can think like a nurse. And of course, I've got strategies to help with test anxiety too. Good luck on your nursing journey. I know you are capable of doing this. If you need help, just check out my profile link to see all the things I offer.